Hi, I'm Sister with a Purpose. Thank you, Devon Feminine, for turning uh, okay, me on. So I was just going through my cards and get ready to get you a reading out. And Divine Partner, something fell on the floor and I seen Divine Partner. And on my TV, I do have it on some healing, aromatherapy type of music. And right now we have Cedar Flute Love Song on, okay? All right, and it's by Dean Evanson and Cha Dasky Dom, and it's called Native Healing. So it's so beautiful, so peaceful, and it's like the moment this song came on, like I said, my cards just flipped over, and I seen Divine Partner. So this is there could be just some interference, a karmic, a uh, feminine energy that interfere in a divine connection with you with a divine partner all right so um this is a general reading so let's go ahead and jump in take what resonates with you and what doesn't leave it on the table whatever doesn't apply you know don't take it if it ain't yours okay thank you divine spirit for a clear communication and divine protection let's see why is divine partner here for divine feminine so I'm going to just do a general justice. Coming in as justice with that love song. Awakening peace. This person is awakening to your energy. Awakening to peace. They want to come back. They want to come back. For some of you, like, there's someone who wants to come back. But I feel like for others of you all, this is someone who just wants to come in and provide you with some type of justice. Balance out this, the scales for you. And it will be a success here. Yes, with this king of cups. Oh my goodness. You know, this person maybe felt stuck in the past, but, you know, they're no longer going to be stuck in their emotions. They could be a Pisces or, yeah, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. They want to come in and bring some type of justice or could very much so be a Leo. Um, 14th, 19th, and the 12th of could be of significance in July. Wow. July 9th, 12th. 19th and 14th okay this person could be coming in on those days those days can have significance to you could you could very much so be a cancer um as well let's move forward give me some more information about this divine partner spirit why is why is he here the nine of cups yeah they see you loving on yourself you know and they feel that you you've healed like they're healing while you're healing this is what spirit is saying to me that they're healing while you're healing so that when you all come together it will be a peaceful awakening hence the song playing right now is awakening peace and it says holiday relaxation all right so you all could be going on some type of getaway this queen of pentacles is here yeah with the didn't i say the 14th yes the temperance is here this person has been patiently waiting on you while you you may have felt like you were stuck or tied down and this person this person was in the ethers waiting like they were patiently waiting on your energy they knew that you were stuck energetically. This could be an ascendant. Like this could be a um, a divine partner who is well into spirituality and who can telepathically communicate. This person could be someone who is into some form of div divination when it, with this eight of pentacles or someone who's just a master at what they do with this seven of pentacles being here this is someone they've been planting the harvest to telepathically speak to you howling at the moon goddamn okay two and ten so it's like i feel like this person has been tangoing with you spiritually energetically they've been doing the tango okay you all have been maybe you didn't know march 16th 17th 19th um uh, february 4th you could be 40 you could be 24 42 39 all right 47 here 23 32 yeah they see you as this empress and like i said there could have been some type of karmic family interference with this karmic feminine energy that could have um, lied to this masculine, held this masculine back, okay? With some type of lie. Let's see what's going on here. What? How did this masculine, how, how did this karmic hold this divine partner back? Okay, tell me more, spirit. What did the divine partner message? This person is obsessed, dismissed, and pissed.
So this this feminine oh fire magic too late to apologize. This feminine could have been patiently waiting on you to be presented as a false empress. They could have lied to your partner and said that you were a current. Could have been doing some type of fem, uh, fire magic and trying to steal your energy through, through some type of candle magic. Okay, they felt that you were karmic, so they you they 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 may have dismissed you in the past, but for some reason this person has caught on to this karmic family member of theirs, and, and now they know you know um, that they they've sit, sat back long enough and allowed this person to tell on themselves. Yeah, this person is your ex for a reason. If there is someone from the past, they could have someone pregnant in the background. Okay, someone is lying. Don't trust this person with the seven of swords. So it's like they don't trust this this family who's been gossiping about their own business. Maybe they maybe they could have told this family something in confidence, and they've been gossiping about their 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 uh their shit, and it got back to them. And in this karmic family member, she feels like, damn, you must be powerful because everything is backfiring. All right, this bitch hoped you fail because she wanted to feel better about herself. Didn't I tell you she was patiently waiting? She it could have been someone's mother or a grandmother or a mother figure in their family. All right, it could have been a Pisces here or aunt. All right, we have Pisces twice or a Sagittarius. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra energy, Leo as well as uh Libra, um Taurus. And this person, like, yeah, like I said, they wanted you to be presented. They were doing fi a fire magic to slow you down, make you look like you're not that bitch. And then they wanted to say that you wasn't that bitch. Like, I told you she was a false empress. I told you she didn't have her shit together. I told you, I told you, I told you. So this bitch was in a I told you so energy, okay? She wanted to be proven right. But the bitch got behind the scenes and did her own spell work to be proven right. And what she did was successfully get herself stuck. All right, and all she did was speed up some type of karmic justice for you. Cause, okay, she like I said, damn, she must be powerful. Everything is backfiring. So she sees this. She sees that everything is backfiring. But she feels that she was there first. And she hates this masculine for putting you on this pedestal. Because this is something that he never did to her. So it could be a mother figure who has abandonment issues. Damn, I've been caught doing spell work. Victim mode on 1000. So this, this lady has been caught doing spell work. And she could have been a someone who was raised with a silver spoon so someone who who had a mom and dad who had a home but the bitch was just and she never had her own successful relationship and, and when she see her son moving forward or her daughter the bitch is just i don't know you know what i'm saying she just gets jealous I wonder if I should stop doing spells. Nothing is working out. I want to grow. Please teach me. Yeah. So it's like she wanted to learn from you, but she was too fucking in her ego to even say this out loud. She didn't even want to admit that she wanted to learn from you. But here she is in the car saying she wanted to learn from you. And she wanted to hurt you so bad. What Spirit is saying, expect powerful change. Okay, this is the new moon. So new moon eclipse. The new moon and the change in this person's world could have started in the beginning of June. Because the new moon eclipse was in the beginning of June. Okay. Yeah, take time to breathe out. Because this situation is like... It's just dying. It's dying. And luck is on your side anyway with this new moon in Sagittarius. So if this person was patiently waiting for you to not be that bitch, a new start is coming and you being that bitch. Okay? <laughs> and she she just, just bring love into the situation. Pray for her to receive the love that she needs to get up off of your dog. Okay? Until next time. All is well. Love and light. I'll show you until next time. Bye.